On the next underhook series that we'll be showing, I'll be showing um, a throw by, and it'll lead right to a knee tap. I use my same thing as underhooking. Now, this same position is right here. All I'm looking for is his knee is posting on the, to the left, and so that'll knee that I'll be attacking. All I do is when I have the underhook, I'll pull this and I circle to my left. You see how he steps? And all I'm gonna do is pick this up. My right hand's gonna go right to the knee, and I'm just gonna throw him right over. One position. I got my underhook. I pull, I circle, and I'm gonna shoot across. So pretty much just trying to shoot him across. Pull underhook. Pull down, I circle and I step. And I look from strikes from there. Or just to get the side mount. <clears throat> right to the underhook. A lot of this works is like, say I try to get a headlock and he pushes away because I can't get a headlock, and that's when I'll circle. And the position goes the same way as my head. I don't want my head to be on that side. I'll have on this side. I pull, step, run them over. Most of the times the guys will try to uh, be a little more sturdy as when I do try to underhook. Circle, 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 run, 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 run. And I'll go to tap, and uh, the guy will have pretty good balance. So I'll have to run them over when I go to tap, just keep running. I may sometimes just have to run him over with it. Because the guy usually will catch his balance and walk with me. And that's all, I just have to run over with it. So, um, one more time, I pull, extend, I snap, I circle. I look at the side. 